you know what I did? Guess what I did? I blocked him. I blocked him. What's up you guys welcome back to my channel my name is michelle if you're new here welcome or welcome back if you're a returning subscriber so today we're going to be doing something different it's going to be a mukbang and i'll be answering your questions i put out a poll on instagram and i asked you guys to ask me questions i also asked some of my friends to ask me questions and here are the questions i just compiled all of them here including the ones that my friends sent me and we are going to be answering them today as I eat my delicious food. So we have this today. I don't know if you can see. This is chicken rolls and mkate wa mayai. I got them from MM Catering on Instagram. I'm going to leave their, their IG page on this video. And in the description, it's going to be there. This is, um, what is it called? Spring roll sauce. I bought it from Naivas. And this is just plain water. So let's get into the questions. So, question number one. Question number one is, what are your biggest pet peeves? So my biggest pet peeve has to be, the first pet peeve is talking in the morning like people who just shout and talk in the morning i personally i don't like talking in the morning i don't like people who talk to me in the morning i just want to be quiet and slowly bring myself to life or slowly bring myself to the fact that it's a new day so i hate talking in the morning and that has to be my biggest pet peeve my biggest pet peeve number two is disrespectful people I really don't like disrespectful people I don't like to disrespect people and I don't like people who disrespect me it doesn't matter on what occasion on what it is I just like to be be respectful and I like to be respected pet peeve number three is you know those people who like to whisper you know like pet peeve number three is you know I don't know if you if you guys will get this like let's say you go to a reception and you go to like you go to a customer service or customer care um, agent and then you're like hey I need help with this and this and then the agent is like mm, I don't like that I don't like that just talk just speak let me hear you question number two how did you find out your hair type how can i find out my hair type so how did i find find my hair type i found my hair type from a chat from a chat that is online i'm going to put the chat here you can find so many charts online for your hair type but this is how i found mine i knew that my hair was not i knew that my hair was more coily than curly so i went and looked for for a chart that started from type 4 was how i did it and then when i went to google i found uh, the hair types from type is it 2 or 3 up to type 4 and then I like identified my hair would be I don't have type 4C that's for sure probably 4B or 4A but I have different hair types on my head that's why most of the times I don't identify myself with a specific hair type because I realize that so many different hair types are on my head sometimes I even see 4A sometimes I see 3C according to the chart that I saw online so I don't really focus or obsess about my hair type I just keep in mind that my hair is more coily than curly meaning it's type 4 one of the type 4s or all of the type 4s on my head and the reason why you need to know your hair type is for you to know how to take care of your hair rather than belong to know there's a there's a thing or a trend i don't know if it stops or it's continuing where people are so obsessed 
with being type 4C that you even end up misidentifying your hair type or hair pattern or hair curl or hair what to me just know this is my hair type my hair type is probably type 4ab whatever according to your hair but the reason why i'm saying don't obsess about this there are so many different charts there are different charts because this is google you'll find everything and anything on there there are different charts there are different people with different opinions so once you find out that okay my hair is coily okay what coil okay it's 4a or 4b just leave it at that focus to find the right products for your hair how old am i i'm 21 years old i'm turning 22 in august 27th on august 27th please do one twist out as i look i will do a twist out as you look i will do a twist out i will do a braid out i will do all that how long can i stay with live in in my hair so i guess this person meant how long should she stay with treatment or deep condition in her hair because live in from the word live in you're supposed to leave it in your hair you're not supposed to rinse it off that is why it's called live in on this other hand there's deep conditioner and which i would tell you to follow the instructions as per the conditioner or as per the treatment so many treatments have different i mean what is the word various treatments have as in they vary in time like a protein treatment you're not supposed to leave it longer than what the bottle says my protein treatment says 10 minutes so what i do is i start from one side once i finish applying and the treatment and combing the hair i do this side once i'm done i give it five minutes and i rinse it off because that's what the bottle says so follow the instructions huh i'm going randomly do you have siblings no i don't have siblings i'm the only child What's your take on adoption do it do it it's totally okay to adopt a child although it depends on the reason as to why you're adopting a child like don't adopt a child to make this child suffer if you're doing it for a good cause then why not go ahead and do it that's my thinking what drove you to take business management in campus so i'll be honest the reason why i took business management in campus actually it was a very rash decision for me i have to admit first reason i chose business management was because i needed something to propel me to do my degree and then the uni that i went to which was un here in mombasa because i was not ready to leave home the uni that i went in mombasa is mostly business school and law school so i mostly had the business uh, side to choose from which i was okay with at that moment do i regret it no i don't regret it would i have chosen something else yes i would have chosen totally something different what are you afraid of the most i think i am mostly afraid of failure and losing my loved ones those are my two and spiders i don't like spiders they're creepy they're weird they're just mm -mm. can one use aloe vera to detangle her hair before combing yes you can use aloe vera the whole point of detangling your hair is to make sure that you're not doing it on dry hair you know like me now if i dare try to detangle my hair like this i'm going to lose a lot a lot a lot of hair because your hair is delicate it's dry it's brittle so the whole point of detangling is to make sure you're detangling your hair when it's wet or when you have a detangling product these are the products i use i use aloe vera to detangle my hair i use apple cider vinegar to detangle my hair i use plain water to detangle my hair those are the three things i use on my hair if you could go anywhere in the world where would you go hmm I think it would be France, Paris, Paris. Inspiration for your channel, will it be a lifetime thing? I'm taking it a video at a time. What do I mean? I'm taking it as in what God will direct me to to film is what I will film. Best memory yet. I have so many nice memories. So far, I'd say it was in 2019 when like most of my family was here and we hung out together like it had been so long since we met i think it was like seven eight years and i was so happy to have them around it was like a huge reunion i was so happy and for me so far that has been the most amazing fulfilling contenting if there's a word like that moment of my life what are you most thankful for in life i am most thankful for life 
I'm most thankful to be alive, most thankful for happiness, most thankful for health, for my family, for myself, like, I'm grateful for everything, but most, I think life itself. What are your thoughts on celibacy and virginity? I'm a firm believer of doing what pleases you. That is my opinion. Do what pleases you. Do what makes you happy. Do what... But me, I didn't say go around sleeping with everyone. No, be careful, but just do what pleases you. What's your turn off in male species? Turn off number one has got to be chauvinism. If you don't know the meaning of chauvinism, this is a man or these are men that believe that the male species is greater than the female species. And I hate it with all my heart, body, mind, and soul. Let me even sneak in a little story time here. So there's this friend of mine, friend X, I'm not going to say his name, friend X, it, he was a he. So one day on his WhatsApp status, he posts a meme, and that meme says, oh, CG. It was, I can't remember that meme very well, but it was something to do with a girlfriend washing clothes. I think it was something like CG, where Shinda Apo, na CG, side chick, and a fuang walk. It was insinuating that. From what I understood from that meme, it was insinuating that as a girlfriend or as a woman, you're supposed to wash clothes and do all that that people think is the female kind of work. So I replied that story and I'm like, what does this mean? And then we had sort of like a little argument and then he had the audacity to open his mouth and tell me that you should know your place as a woman in a home you know what i did guess what i did i blocked him immediately i saw that st immediately i'm not sure maybe mm -mm. immediately i saw that message blocked deleted his number let me ask you the first question I ask myself, you, at your small age, do you, what is a home? Do you know what a home is? My second turn off has got to be, man, this is good. My second turn off has got to be Men who like promising you. I can see your men, boys. Is it you come on the Nilewa? I know you know these people. I will take you out. I will buy. Me, did I ask you? No. So, why are you telling me? Don't talk about what you're gonna do. Do it. My turn off number three has got to be bad grooming. I don't like it. Number four has got to be respect. I don't like men who are disrespectful from how they even start to approach you, you know? I don't like such people. And maybe that's why I'm single because we skincare routine. I don't have one. I don't have a skincare routine, but I'm trying to do better. I'm trying to do better in the sense that I'm trying to understand my skin what it likes what it doesn't my auntie usually tells me my auntie is super obsessed and good when it comes to skincare so she told me that skincare is mostly about ingredients so I'm trying to learn more about ingredients and all that if I finally figure out my skincare routine I'll share that with you guys what inspired you to start youtube why shouldn't i start a youtube channel what is the reason i should not have a youtube channel nothing i love public speaking 
this is a way for me to get my, back my public speaking love i love public speaking and my prayer up to date is always for god to give me an audience it doesn't matter what audience it doesn't matter what i'm talking about it doesn't matter what i'm doing my prayer is normally god please give me an audience because he gave me this he gave me this gift to speak in front of people i'm shy I am actually very shy, but it's so easy for me to shake it off. I don't know if you understand what I mean. I will be shy as I'm speaking to people, but then I'll be like, Michelle, listen, you're not shy. Done. Boom. It goes. You know, I'm not shy. I'm going to speak in front of people. I'm never scared to do presentations in campus. I'm never, like, it's just, in, it's a gift. And I started it when I was quite young. My parents nurtured me like that. I used to do reading competitions. I used to do public speaking when I was so, so young. So that is why what inspired me to start YouTube. Another reason why I started YouTube is because I'm still discovering myself. I'm still discovering what I love. As I've told you guys, I'm very, very open-minded. I'm a firm believer in everything that I'm going to do in life is going to lead me to where God wants me to be. So if it's a YouTube channel, I know one or another, it will lead me to where I will go. That's why I said I'm taking it one video at a time. Because I believe every single step I'm taking in life is geared or geared towards me becoming this person that God wants me to be. So why not? Why can't I start a YouTube channel? The funniest moment in school you remember. The person, <laughs> the person who asked this question, we've had so many funny moments of us in school together. It's so funny. Like, yo, my high school was a toxic school. I don't like that school. I don't even like talking about it. But my favorite moment in high school, actually were with this person. I don't remember if you guys remember. Because I know some of you are my subscribers. So, <laughs> in our school, we're not allowed to carry perfume, uh, socks. Like, we're not allowed to carry anything apart from uniform. Like, ev anything that is in the list. So, we used to sneak in stuff in school. And then on this fateful day, we hear that the mad there's going to be an inspection in the evening. So, this girl... I won't even mention her name, but this girl, I don't know where she got the keys to the dorm, and then she opened the dorm and left it open. So during class time, was it a Saturday? I think it was a Saturday. Or, I think it was a Saturday. A Saturday or a Friday, one of those days. So I remember that day we were just in class, and then the girl is like, hey, you guys, the dorm is open. Let's go take our things, you know? Like the matron said, there's going to be an inspection. <laughs> So me and this person who asked this question and so many of us went to the dome. Eh. Sema kushikwa in the act like we were caught like me kwanza I remember. I remember that day. Okay, I hope you guys can remember that day. That day was so funny. We entered into the dome silently. Locked the door, went and took our things. So as we are debating whether to jump off the window or to come out from the door, the matron appears. When the matron appears, of course, all of us are hiding. So as smart as she is, she goes from the back. Aki, I've even gone, like my head has disappeared to that day. It was so funny. So she goes through the back of the window so she can see everyone that's there. So as stupid as I am, I didn't even hide. She saw me and I remember we met eye to eye like this. Let me tell you, I walked there. Come and see me, me. I remember I had a hood. I put my hood on, Nani Katem. <laughs> oh my god, Nani Katem, yeah, like it was not even me. I can't remember that day, and I just laugh. What apart from content creation, do you have other interests? Yes, I have a lot of interests, as I told you guys. I'm super open minded. My mind is so open and ready for any new idea that pops up in my head. So I can't even tell you the ones. Okay, I have those that I already have, but I don't want to jinx. So right now, I'm open to anything. Absolutely anything. I want to do modeling. I want to do fashion. I want to do content creation. I want to be in school. I want to do everything because I don't want to miss out on these opportunities when I'm old. Imagine you're old and then you're like, hey, I wish I did me i don't want that to be me i don't want any wishes here if you had one ticket where would you go what is stroke what is your dream destination indonesia 
not Indonesia, Vietnam, China, you know those countries. I love those countries because of their food. Like I watch too much of food content on YouTube about Vietnam and the bang me i don't know if you guys know what a bang me is it's like a sandwich it looks so delicious so i want to go to vietnam and eat that but the fun fact about me is i love the wild i love animals i love the wild my dream actually yeah my dream destination is to go for camping at the amazon forest i know crazy but i'd be scared but it's still so beautiful so if you were to win a gift for someone who would it be and what would it be? I would not win a gift for anyone, maybe myself, because I feel like then that's not special if you had to win it for them. I don't know if you get what I'm saying. I wouldn't win anything for anyone. I prefer to save, I prefer to actually buy the gift with my own money because I don't like free things. Guys, I'd like to specially thank all of you who sent me these questions. Thank you for interacting with my content. Don't forget to follow me on my socials. We have so much fun on there. Thank you so much. And right now, I'm so full. I just want to lie on the bed.